NFTs and all my crypto is green. I want to start with your your story, like your background. I don't know if people know, but I'm a photographer. I used to think photography was stupid, which sounds funny. <laughs> but it's like as a kid, um, I was always annoyed when my parents would make me stop and take a photo. It's like the worst, it's like the most annoying thing as a kid. My mom's been a photographer her whole life and she still is. So I refused to pick up a camera. That was her thing. But I don't know what it was. It was about 13 years ago. She got a new camera and I started playing around with it in some of the trails and nature surroundings and found it like immediately addicting. So I was self-taught there. That's where I built my name in photography as a landscape photographer. And that was kind of the beginning of, of my journey on Super Rare as an artist. What was the process like to launch Lux or Pursuit of Equilibrium? The whole thing started six months ago. I was watching some ancient sand art. You can lay out a bed of sand and you can have a brass pointed, like very sharp pendulum that'll just barely touch the sand and it swings through and draws these really complex shapes. And so I thought there's no reason why this shouldn't be able to be done through light painting. You should be able to put a light source on the end of that and I could use my astrophotography know-hows to capture long exposure in the dark and draw these really awesome shapes. You can create these really complex shapes that you can't otherwise, but it's still a surprise every single time and no two paintings are identical and they never will be i wanted to share with the world like what real world generative art was and kind of pioneer this new genre and idea of computerless generative art and so that's kind of where it started and people really took interest now you are one of the co-founders of transient labs how did that idea come together and like maybe you could talk about some of the innovative stuff you've been working on i founded transient labs with with my colleague and best friend marco Pafus. i found out about nfts in late 2020. And then I started to explore like what smart contracts were and then realized that at that time, a majority and still today, a majority of the NFTs that you see just use contracts as like a container to put it on the blockchain. So they're creating the artwork over here and then they're putting it inside a smart contract and then putting that on the blockchain. And Mark and I really started to explore like using the blockchain as part of the creation process. So some of the first pieces we made in tw early 2021 were my photographs where I captured times a day in the same location throughout the entire day and then tied them to the viewer's exact local time anywhere on the planet. So everyone was seeing something different depending on where you lived on Earth. And so it's not only like dynamic art, we do a lot of that where you have pieces that react with I don't know, ETH price, time of day, 360 VR, interactive pieces and puzzles. And then most recently, we've been very hard at work building something called The Lab, which is going to be a public-facing, fully self-serviced platform for creators. I really like that you guys are like finding this niche where it's like, hey, if you want to be creative, we're going to play with time and play with variables where it's dynamic. And they have a lot of functionality builds in that you can't find anywhere else in the space. One of them is called the story mechanic. It's in every creator contract. It allows any owner of the token at any point in time to record thoughts, messages, where the piece has been exhibited, wherever, on chain. And it's tied to that NFT forever. And then the other one is more of a security protocol where it's a multi-sig metadata update. It basically is it's good for trad art collectors who are really looking for security around their asset when you buy an expensive piece you don't want people to be able to just update the metadata like the artist willy-nilly it's also built into every contract where the collector has the final say if any metadata update goes through and so it takes two signatures to approve those and that was supposed to be a security protocol but we've been recently gamifying it and you can do some really cool stuff with it tyler do you want to jump into rapid fire favorite pfp collection i've always loved nuclear nerds they really have an insane attention to detail. What upcoming artists would you like to spotlight? Postwook. She just has a really unique style. What teams are you most bullish on besides your own? This is a new one. The Lens Protocol. I was very impressed with them. Crossmint's crushing it. We use them on everything for Fiat on-ramp for Mints, and they're really doing a good job. What's one podcast that you listen to weekly? I've always loved Two Board Apes. I find that very entertaining. Definitely listen to a ton of Tim Ferriss's. Last question. One prediction for the end of 2023. I feel very bullish on Transient Labs this year. We have an entire public-facing product suite that's going to be going through four-week sprints with insane innovations every month. 
I predict we're going to end the year as one of the leading like product facing companies, not just services. This channel is intended purely for educational purposes and does not constitute financial or tax advice. NFTs and all my crypto is green. I'm watching Gary V on TV. What do you mean? She wear Gucci and Louis, but her favorite Celine. My old school is old, but I keep that shit.